Say, I'm fruitful in all that I lay my hands to do. In the mighty name of Jesus. Say, in the name of Jesus, I decree that every step I take leads to productivity. In the mighty name of Jesus, I'm not a beggar. And I will not join them to beg. In the name of Jesus. Come on, declare. Say, I will not join them to beg. So shall it be. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Hallelujah. Your voice is too low. Hallelujah. Come on. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me give welcome to two, three persons beside you. I say you are welcome to church this morning. How are you doing? Are you awesome or you are awesome? Secrets to a wealthy life. I share a few. And wherever I stop or wherever I get to, I stop there. Secrets to a wealthy life. Third John, verse 1 and 2. The elder to the beloved Gaius, whom I love in truth. This man says, this person I love him very much. In truth, not the fake love. And because I love you so much, I want to share something with you that is the best thing I think I can share with you as someone who loved you. Imagine somebody is about to die and he sits you down to talk to you about the best thing or the most important thing that ever happened to him. I think the most or the best thing to take most seriously are people's last words. If God gives you the opportunity to talk to your son before you pass, maybe in your old age, what will you tell him? If you have opportunity to know that you are going to die in the next five minutes, what will be your last words? Apostle John said, my beloved Gaius, if there is anything I wanted to get as someone I love sincerely from my heart, there is something I want to talk to you about. And verse 2 is it. He said, I pray that you may prosper in all things and be in health just as your soul prosper. If you remove prosperity from the kingdom, then there is no kingdom. Every king is known for their royalty and prosperity. Some of us watch when the queen of England was buried. You see the pomps. You see the excellence. You see the royalty. You see the wealth that was in display. That is just the kingdom of man. And the Bible recorded to us that Jesus came to establish the kingdom of God on it. So the basic characteristics of the kingdom is prosperity. And John in this place said, I want to pray a prayer for you. And what is my prayer for you? Is that you will prosper. Not in some things. All things. All things. You will prosper in all things. And be. And be. So there are people who probably prosper in some things and they are and they do not they are not in health or the their prosperity is not in their being. It's a nature. Someone said my nature from today's prosperity. Louder, come on. Better than you mean it. Say it again, say it is my nature. Just like it is the nature of a dog to back. Well, well, it is my nature to have money. Oh, somebody did not hear that. I said somebody did not hear that. Just it is the nature of, uh, of, give it to me, of a fish to swim. It's my nature to be prosperous. So if I don't have money, permit me, can a fish not swim in water? Somebody say, I am in health. And not just to have money in your hand. But you have good health to enjoy the wealth. What is the use of money without, without good health? My wife boy shared the story of a man that was very wealthy. But boy, he can't eat, can only drink milk. Because he was sick. Very wealthy, but can only drink milk. Imagine wealth, you can't eat chicken. Imagine wealth, you can't, you can't eat rice. For some of you that is rice and plantain, you can imagine. God, may God not, may God not allow something to happen to you that you cannot eat rice and beans. Do you see them? 
Doctor will be saying, uh, you know, you can't eat this. Someone is, but we say, God has given me all things richly to enjoy. I didn't say be eating sugar. Or be packing salt in your soup. There are fruits that some people can't even take. Because of ill health. When I pray for somebody today, your prosperity will be all around. So, if God's delight is that I prosper and be in health, even that my soul prospers, in other words, I'm not depressed, I'm happy. So, there's these secrets that God has put in place for these worlds to come to pass. The first thing I share again, I'll go back to his vision. Vision. You cannot have beyond what you see. As a man thinks, so easy. As a man thinks, as a man thinks. And how do you think? What you see informs what you think. So you cannot be beyond what you are thinking. And you cannot think beyond what you are seeing. What preoccupies your mind are the things you constantly allow your eyes to see physically or not physically. And I begin to talk to us that if your eye is good, your whole body will be good. That means if your vision is right, your life will be right. But your vision is not right. Oh boy. I gave an example in one of the class or, ch- or in one of these sessions. I don't know, maybe it's a Wednesday or something. I can't remember when I put somebody to wear dark shade. Everywhere is bright and lit. But give the person a black shade. Everywhere will be dark. Does it mean everywhere is dark? No, it's the glasses at which he sees things that is dark. So if your vision is not right, it will affect your decisions. Then I want you to know something. That the race of life is not a once for all vision or revelation. Oh, I have a vision from God two years ago. Is enough for, my, for life. No. Nobody has one vision for all. Mm-mm. Now God shows us things in bits. There are some documents in your house now that probably your children don't know where you kept them. Because they are not mature enough to see it. Even if you show them, it does not make sense to them. Wednesday, while the service was going on, I turned to the back. I asked my son, did you understand what they are saying on the altar? He said, yes, he understands. I know even the understanding is not in full. I turned back, I looked at the younger sister. I said, did you understand what they are saying? He said, no, sir. I turned to the elders. I said, do you understand? He said, yes. I got the answer I wanted to get because I know the last one should not understand. Oh, there are seven keys to investment. I invested 2000 when I started this business. Now it has become my income now is now the last time I checked was about uh, how many million did he say in a month? 13. Okay, turnover last for a few months. Now it's about 13 million. And yes, I started with 2 million. I can't explain. Oh, that struck somebody. It started with 2K. The business is about three years or less than. And the turnover has gone to 13 million in a month. It's not in Lagos. It's not in Ikeja. It's in Yanoluwo. It's in the Yanoluke. The shop is not the shop that is very big. It's the shop that is not more than 10 feet. I'm not even sure it's up to 10 feet because I was the one that prayed there when he opened it. It's about 10 feet. It's about maybe 8 feet by 10. Where something is sagging and all of that. Vision. Some wives will strangle their husband to get money to start business. Collect two million. They will take it out loan. Three million, four million. They said they want to sell clothes and bag. They will open the shop, do almaco board, put glass, put everything. They say, I want excellent. And they say, branding. They will use one million, 1.5 million to brand a business that all their investment inside it or all they are selling there is no more than 300,000, 400,000. They said, I want every passerby. That is why in the next two years, you will not see them in business anymore. Check many of them, they are related to another person. There's one fine baby saloon at Yanoloke at Yanoloke there before. Very beautiful. They did it very nice. Put a lot of things, put glass at the front. Did every kind. Oh, also, when you are passing by, you say, Wow, let them bob for you. If you tell them to put pattern here, they can put pattern to the other side. It's before you know it, it stop existing. Because you are spending more. See, build at your pace. Build at your pace. If you jump up, you will come down. But if you grow up, you stay there. Build at your pace. 
You have never been able to sell 5,000 naira. You want to go and rent a shop for 600,000 naira. Even if they give you the money, don't put it there because you will waste it. Build at your pace. All these things happen by vision. What did you see? And some people don't see normal vision. The way we are talking about vision like this, ah, I'm seeing things I want to drive you wagon next year. You will be a robber. It doesn't work that way. A child must learn to crawl before he walks. Or else the child will fall. You have not made 10,000 naira. You are saying, Father, I decree and declare before the end of this year, I'm a millionaire. Through what? You know, church can make us do stupid confessions. I'm a thousand times more numerous. Yes, a thousand times more numerous based on what is in your hand. That's why I say more, more, based on what is in your hand. And I will explain to you that God bless nothing. What did I say? God bless nothing. I will show you where the blessing of the Lord is. The blessing of the Lord is not on your head. The blessing of the Lord is in your hand. So it is what you use the hand to do that produces results. You don't pray to prosper. You work to prosper. Everybody teaching you something or doing something. What are you doing? Can you teach us what you are doing? Let me give you a microphone and say, teach us what you are doing. Vision. What do you see? And don't forget, it's not once, a, once and for all vision. God will have to be unveiling it to you bit by bit. When Jesus started, the full picture was not seen. I didn't see the school. I didn't see star school. I didn't see this place. I had a Nicolobo. I don't know what will happen there. I moved there. They begin to see other things fall in place. God shows you things bit by bit. In Exodus 23 verse 30, he said, I will drive them out bit by bit. Exodus 23 30. Bit by bit. Little by little. I will drive them out. That's the operations of God. Little by little. Even the revelation of God is little by little. From before you until you have increased. The, see, do you know, it, the race of man in life is like driving at night. You don't see an object very far away. The closer you are to it, the clearer those images are. So, head lamps are not designed to face the front. They are designed to face the front and your... Permit me to say on your front. So, they are not designed to, to look far. They are designed to check out where you are seen. As a matter of fact, those who drive at night understand that you are not supposed to see too far. So, we, when I drive at night, there are two major things I focus on. There is a line on the road. And there is a there is a there is, there is a there, uh, there is a road divider. So my major concern to stay on lane is to stay by the road lines. I hope I'm not off the road. Not just to be looking ahead of you. You must look down in front of you. Not down. Down in front of you. That's the way God shows people things. Little by little. Then as you are getting closer, you are seeing it clearer. You are seeing it clearer. God will never show you the total picture of it. It is the step you take that reveals it and makes it clearer. So don't expect God to tell you everything from where you are standing. No. The more you get or the closer you get to it, the clearer it becomes. God didn't tell Moses where he was going. So that's one of the, the funniest things I've ever seen. Oh. Do you not think God can tell Moses? And do you know that there is no way Moses passed that Moses did not know. For 40 years, Moses was in that wilderness. 40 years. As a nomad. So Moses has been in that wilderness for 40 years. God knew he knows everywhere. But God said, I'm taking the children of Israel out. I'm taking them to Canaan land. And Moses said, oh Lord, I know the way. No. I will show you the way to go. Huh? Why will you show me the way to go? I know the way. If not, and God said, how will, I how will you show us? Okay, let your presence go. I will be a pillar of cloud by day, pillar of cloud by, fire, by night. All you need to do is just to be following cloud. A pillar. starting looking like a cloud during the day. Touching the head and coming down from heaven. So what do we do to it? Be following it. So anywhere the cloud is going, they will be following it. Bible says anytime it settles down and stays, they stay there. It can stay on a spot sometime for one week. They will build a tent there and stay there. With him following them, if he moves, everybody will quickly pack their bag 
and they keep on following more than one million persons about two million people following the pillar of cloud and one day he led them and led them and led them to the front of the red sea as google map taking you somewhere before and you just reach face or close <laughs> are you looking like is google map mad no this google map is not mad when he led them to sometimes they are not mad maybe a nigerian factor somebody one day just closed the road and put but one day there was a road in that place but this time he led them to the red sea moses felt like this cloud must be confused oh there's no way in this place people said they were all crying and they are not permitted to use their brain they are not permitted to go ah, okay okay everybody let's turn back let's turn back let's use the alternative route no alternative route the next thing the lord said that is the way which way yeah he said, move forward to where, sir? This is sea, not, not, uh, not the river behind the church that you can jump over. Sea. Have you been in uh, Atlantic Ocean before? The one in Lagos. You look to the left, you look to the right, you remember your dad, you remember your mom, you remember your future husband and your future wife. You say, Lord, Lord, please, one chance in my life, let me just get to the other side. Because you know that if anything happens to that boat, you are not gone, you are gone. But that was where they were. Was. And God, or was, or is. And God said, stretch your rod. God made a way. Hey. And Pharaoh came and found a way. Bad road in the middle of the ocean. Ah! Oh, ma. These guys must be anointed. And he was looking at them at the other side. He said, see free road. Lunch. Ah! Let's go. He entered it. My mother in the lunch said, is it now papa make the road for him to follow the road? If now papa make the road, he could tell us as he entered the road, the Lord, the Lord allowed him to enter. The last person on the on the on the on the military train had entered. They had got into the middle. And guess what? The ocean was so big that it took them days to walk through it. To walk through it. So you see pillar of water and you are walking through it. It seems to me after like one minute you are ending. Hope this thing will not crash back. At one hour, two hours, they were walking through it. They were walking through it. The pillar kept on moving. Ah! And guess the way this thing works? It seems to me not the totality of everything will open at once. The more they go, the more it opens. The more they go. And I would say they walked on dry ground. So it didn't even just, it didn't even let their slippers to be stained. Dry. Because when God wants to do something, we do it completely. I pray for somebody today. This vision will lead you in the right direction. That amen is not correct. So if you believe it, let your amen show it. It won't just give you a good husband. It will give you the one that is after God's heart. Somebody say, God will do it completely. But you know he never led them astray for 40 years. Somebody say vision. I can't know your voice. Somebody say vision. The cloud never departed until they got to Canaan land. What is in vision? I've told you this before. And vision is critical. If I may show you a bit of things around vision. Bible says in Isaiah 28, 7 to 13, that they err in judgment because they err in vision. So if your judgment, if your vision is not right, you can never see right. Isaiah 28, 7 to 8. Or 7 to 13, but because of time, let me just jump it. Proverbs 29, 18, NLT translation. Proverbs 29, 18, NLT translation. Then I'll show you briefly what is the vision they run out. He said, when people do not accept divine guidance, they run wild. You know, when there is no vision, do you know what happens to people? Hey, have you ever heard where there's a gunshot somewhere? Wow, wow, wow. And somebody is running towards the, where they are shooting the gun. <laughs> Do you know why? It does not have the vision of where the sun is coming from. Let me give you another example. You have ever been on the road before? Especially Lagos, and they said, Muwe around that place is blocked. They will not be calling themselves. One driver would just be inside the car. The driver would just carry you few of the road. He said, where are you going, sir? He said, they said, road is blocked, so he wants to pass off father. <sighs> to where? Then you are passing inside the Abule, or maybe you are going to Abuja. And they have to take you to all those Ekiti Road. 
and you they are just driving through okay and you are looking like god almighty what is happening here only for you to just get to one place bang they say the shock comes about the car ah! and somebody will be complaining at the back i've said this driver is a cost driver i've said this thing is this 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 is that then they will be looking for mechanical and where you are is a village area they can't even get mechanic so you are supposed to travel again for another two hours to go and buy the spare part of the car that got spoiled and the man will not finish the thing after like four hours after all of you are complaining and you are done complaining you, you have slept you have woken up <laughs> they now drive the car again and drive 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 only guy tried to just enter one city at the back of the city and met another traffic there. Bagger. And because your boss moved before your friend, because you are in a hurry to catch up with an appointment where you are going to, that your friend that led behind you called, Where are you? The man said, Ah, I already traveled now for about one hour. Hey, where are you there? He said, We did traffic for Lokoja. Ah! And he has left two hours before you. You know why? Vision. When there is no clear guidance, people run wild. Yeah. Have you ever seen uh, one of my daughters yesterday? I did that one, one. Um, Sometimes I could be playful. She was. They were talking just in serious matter. I just sneaked to them from the bar. I said, ah! Thank God I'm still a good father. I now pull her back. Say, Oga. Okay? Where the, if you know where the attack is coming from, you can tell, ah, let's jack back through this place. But guess what? Do you know why lions are able to catch up with antelopes? If you put them side by side to run, uh, uh, who is lion beside antelope? You know those two, four tiny legs? When he, he, he jumps, po, 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 he's gone. Lion can catch up. Lion knows he cannot catch up. But guess what? Lion will plan for, for hours. For hours, and that is kind of camouflage skin. It will plant the grass where the antelope loves to hit is where lion loves to hide. So he hides close and move very close. And when he has become very close, he will now muster all his strength together to roar. Now, the roaring is not just to let them know the king is coming, no, it's to confuse them. By the time he hears that, he knows the force of danger. But the problem now is that he's not sensitive enough to know the direction to turn. So, by the time he has problem in running fast or in picking up his energy early, it becomes a lunch. That's what the devil does to us by giving us impaired vision. So that instead of you to face a direction, you are. And everybody knows, especially athletes, that you will never recover from a poor start. In hundreds, in hundred meter race, if you miss the stepping, you don't pick it on time. It's enough for somebody to win the race because what you required is less than ten seconds. All those time you are wasting jumping at a skater, your mates are gone. All those times you are jumping like this, that is why the day you enter your office or you enter a bank, you met one of your secondary school mates as the MD of that bank. You want to go and complain to MD over your 5,000 error that exists, that ATM. And you met your mates on the table as a manager telling you we help you resolve it. <laughs> this bank, this bank, what, what you are fighting for is 20k. 20k. But if that 20k is not released, you will not hit for two days. But the person that is the MD of that bank, you are older than him. You know the difference? Somebody accepted vision on time. That is why I have burden for you. What are you seeing now? Now that age is on your side, what are you seeing? Now that you have the energy, what are you seeing? You may never be able to recover from the poor start. See, it is better to run faster when you don't have children than when you have children. Imagine I'm just accepting the call of Glorious Liberty Church as a pastor of GSA. Now, I will think of my daughter. I will think of my son. I will think of my wife. I will think, ah, ah, how will I be able to? How will I be able to? But then, it was easier. The first three years of this ministry, I was not married. I was 23 when I started. 24. What am I thinking of marriage for? 
25 energy is it there if i don't get anything to eat more go but imagine at night now you don't get something to eat and your children are looking at your face even the bible say a man that can't provide for his family is worse than infidel amen i we be toasting my wife and so how do we share the school fees this time? You will pay half, I'll pay half. You know, things are not easy. I promise you, I am by the grace of God, things will not always be like this. Okay, leave story. Run where you can run. Because sometimes it gets to a point when it is difficult to run. Excuse me, sir. Carry a water bottle in your hand and begin to run from here to Lagos. Before you get to a chromosome, you will realize that water, water bottle has become a weight. Huh? You will want to throw it away, even if it is empty water bottle. You feel, ah, this is a weight. Can I tell you something? The more we grow, the more we have weights that slow our pace down. That is why it is good now to run where there is no much weight in your life. So imagine they give you 50 kg. Even if you can carry the 50 kg and you can run with it, the moment they give it to you, it looks like, man, not lately now. Where will they go? No far. But the more you go, the more you realize that, ah, this thing is weight. That is why I pity men that didn't pick up on time. Because it can be so difficult to pick up. Now you have 100,000 naira. If you are single, you can throw out the 100,000 naira in a business, but now you cannot throw all. Because there is a daughter that must eat. There is a wife that must drop cream. Amen. If your wife does not look good, it's a shame on you because everybody will point out to you. For some men say, hey, hey, hey. Um, is, there, is there any calling to buy cream and clothes? No calling to buy cream and clothes. You are just irresponsible for not doing so. Is there any calling to eat? Who has a calling when you are called from heaven? God said you are sent to the face of the earth to come and eat. And so there is no calling to. God did not say. Someone said, show me in the scripture. God said, eh, give your husband, give your wife cream. But the Bible tells you to take care of them. So you can categorize everything there. Some mates are even thinking about to buy a car for their wife. Is cream that is a problem? Someone say vision is critical. What do you see when you see people? Some people, when they are looking on Instagram, they see a fine couple snapping together. They say, they say, it's fake. It's not true. It's not true. It is because that is why your own family is not like that. Because nothing excites you. Oh, oh, oh. They will snap together now. They will snap in themselves. Ah, are you sure that? Stop thinking evil in everything you see. When some people see fine car, hey, I'm only, I'm only. Where did they get it? <laughs> the G wagon. He's driving G wagon at 25. G wagon at 25. I said I saw somebody's job offer. They were begging him for a job of 12 million, and he said he was negotiating it. And there's somebody who went to another place, and they said they want to give him 15,000 euro. thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. <laughs> you know the difference? Fisher. Nobody has to add. Look at your friend's head, whether it's different from your own, except in size. <laughs> the content is the same. Biggest brain. I wish God can pack all the brain and put it on the, on the table and pack your own and put it on the table. You will realize that in your own state, in your natural state, when you were born, the brain is the same. But as you are growing up, what you load inside it becomes different. I have friends in the village that their house used to be the fine house I used to go. That boy used to have room to himself in the village. I will stay in his room. He's a big boy in the village. He can farm. He has big farm. When he sells yam like this, he will go to baby. He will, he will, he will help me arrange for girls. Come, come, come. This one. Those guys like him because they know he has money. So he will be giving us babes. Take this one. <laughs> I'm not saying this to mock him. Is that not Kada right now? In Lagos or Kada right now? Do you know the difference? As we are growing, what we feed our mind is with become different. Somebody, a lady is feeding her mind with, let me marry a boy that will say to me, that is what you are feeding your mind with. 
That is why you are toasting boys. You are sending them text messages. You see, you see people in church, you say, it's my crush. Instead of you to let that your vision become your crush. There was a man that used to come to our house. We used to call him, call him Oganji. That brother was a big boy. Very intelligent. We love him. We say, he can solve maths. Ah! That was how I took my brothers. He would be coming to our house with jazz. To load my brother with jazz. I would see them in the kitchen. You know those local kitchen? They would, they would cook local egg. Be chicken. Uh, uh, that, what did they call that? Um, that? That thing that used to be pepperish like this. Eh? Atare. You, uh, what do you call it? Alligator pepper. And I'll see them be counting it. One, two, three, four, five. Then they will put, put it inside. I was much younger. And my brother, and he will sit down. That brother, there's no time he comes to my house. He's not coming to do one to do with my brother. They, they will carry book. And be looking at the book. And be choking things. They will open the egg. Sometimes they will choke it before they boil it, tie it. Then I'll see them. They can want to eat it and raise one leg up like this. And say some things. And be chewing it. And when they are chewing it, they will be doing their high diet. I'll be looking at what kind of thing. Is a bricklayer in the village now. See this, my eyes. I've seen this. <laughs> that bros wanted to contest for counselor in the village. He went to go and do juju. He said they did something called uh, a They tied it on his bubble. I saw it. That brother, that brother was one cook like that. He tied the team. Did... Pastor, did he not win? He, he will win tomorrow. He lost the election. <laughs> I was telling my dad about something, and my dad was like, "If we undo it," and I was like, "Guy, he's still there. Where we, where he was some twenty-five years ago, he's still the same place." Do you know the difference between him and my brother? Is already my brother live in a house now that is worth more than a hundred million. Together they were they were doing what Yoruba used to call fitibo did they know? So, what, as a matter of fact, shall I see him as a bigger bros who has a better advantage than him? So, what is the difference? What each person fed his mind with at different junctions of life. Have you ever seen million in your mind? Have you ever seen the house you want to live in your mind? Have you ever seen the kind of children you want to have in your mind? Have you passed through a school and you said, this is what I want? You know what? When you drive through this the town and you are going to Lagos, when you pass, okay, most of the government office, and you look to the left, there's a white building that has a glass wall. White building that has one blue glass cutting wall like this one. That's the first building in town that has a cutting wall glass. I will drive to the place and stand in front of that place and look at it and say, our church will have this thing. There is no time I go to Lagos, I will not turn. and say, Lord, I received this. Lord, I received this. Another time I was driving through town, I saw another building, they were building and they were to fix it there. I saw it, I parked, I walked into the place. That was where I met the man that did this thing. And I walked there and I said, sir, this thing you are doing, I want something like that in our church. Can we not have it? He said, we can. I've gone to Alumax in one of these Lebanese company in, in, uh, in uh, what do you call it? In Tango to come and help us do it, they gave us 15 million. I can't forget. I wore tie, I wore everything. They said, What do you want to do? I came with the design of the church to them. All that time, all the members of this church, we are now up to 50. And I presented it, it gave me 15 million, 2012 or so. I carried it in my hand. I got to my wife, said, Did you get it? I said, Yeah, say how much? I told her, he said, Who, are you, How did you expect to deliver this thing? I will pray in tongue, I will look at it, pray in tongue, look at it. I will pray, I walk, look at it. I will go to the place I've seen it. Is that not what you are seeing in front of the church now? Can I tell you how this thing was done? I invited a guest minister to church one day. The first thing I first of all did was to buy one iron. I bought it, I kept at the back. When I had more, I bought, I kept at the back. It took me more, almost one year or more than one to put those things together. The last one that broke the camel's back, I invited the guest minister to the church. After he finished preaching, he was leaving the church. And he put something in my hand like a paper. I thought it was a note. So I put it in my pocket. After I saw him off, I entered back to go back home. On my way home, I just ah, somebody gave me a note to let me even check what he wrote there. It was the exact money needed to complete the project that we had outside. What are you seeing? Create the picture, and guess what? God have a way to make sure everything you need will be attracted to what you are seeing. But you see nothing. When a man sees nothing, he will have nothing. I pity a man that can't see anything. I pity a wife that the only thing he's thinking is 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 is, is, is chicken. You know, you know, my husband, it's been a while we have eaten chicken in this house. Will it be my husband? When was the last time you made 10 million? 
Oh, my husband, when was the last time? What are you seeing? You just wake up and, and eat and sleep. Wake up. You are not animal. It is goats that behave like that. It is antelope that behave like that. It is the dog in your house that behave like that. No, you are not a beast of the field. God has raised you with creativity. God told me something today. He said, when God rested, he left creation to man. Whatever we see on the face of the earth today, after God rested, it was man that created it. Because God has put that creativity in you to create your next face, to create your wealth, to create your peace, to create the job you want. Come on, shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Am I talking too fast this morning? So see. Tell your neighbor, say, please see. Tell someone else, say, please see. I don't have time about this vision. Thing. I will jump off. Maybe when I have time again, I'll go back. But let me talk about the second key. Walk. God help me in 10 minutes. Walk. You know the plague of this generation? Young men love money. They love wealth, but they don't want to walk. Oh, ladies are better. Boys. Permit me to call them boys. Or young men. Including you. That you are listening to. You love to talk in wear tie. You love to wear designer new clothes and dye your hair. But the only thing on your head is your hair. You know? It's your hair. The only thing on your head is your hair. You are pricing prices of week. You have never priced a, a book on, on prosperity. If they even give it to you as gift in church, you will never open it. But you know how much they sell Bone Street. You know how much they sell Gucci bag, Louis Vuitton. You have, you know, you you always have eyes for big things, but you don't want to work. I'll let you know I'm deliberate about this. Only you. You are talking to a girl on Facebook. You are talking to another one on Instagram. You'll be deleting. You have no work. If you are busy, you will not have time for some things that you are doing. When we started this building project, sometime I got to the house 9 p.m. I overpaid those guys that are working. So, I will tell them, I said, I will count the number of blocks you make one day. Hey, they want to die there. Pastor, can they put on the generator for us? I can put on generator for you. Sometimes we put touch light. The first week, all my legs, because I stand all day. The following day, it's as if my legs, I'm not the owner. Is in the middle of that, you will have time to be chatting somebody. You have no work. Your mates go to work in the morning, you are too. I think the cause of the devil over your life is that you are veiled to see that you are jobless. And don't call some things you are doing work. Oh. Because what th that thing you sat down with and say you are doing, you, it's not. It's not the extension of some other people's business. Maybe it's the number 10 extension that they are trying to work on. I can give you an example. You are a man here. You sit down in POS office. They will come. From morning to night, you are there with one POS. How much do you want to make it happen? If it is a season of your life and a face, let it be a face, but not where you will stay. You can't feed the child with that. If you're a student and you are going to school, you have that as a side, the way you used to call it side hustle, even though in this church you don't believe in us, it's a sidewalk. Maybe. But what you focus on? I'll give you another one. Young men here, if you are teaching in a school, God bless you. It's a face of your life. But I can't expect you at 30, 40, saying you are teaching in a place you are collecting 50,000 naira. Is that what you will use to marry? The truth is bitter. Out. Or else, I will advise you don't even toast any woman. Stay alone. Hey, 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 my wife is not understanding. Your wife did not force you to marry her. You are the one that said I can take care of you when you pick that woman up. And do you know what men forget is that the day you are going to face God, God will ask you what you do with them. 
A pastor told me this. He said, the day I don't have food to give to my children and my wife, he said, as a pastor of this church, I will remove my collar and go to the streets and carry pom pom. Reverend Tundi Amoson told me. What is being fine when I can't provide for the house? This is how this mentality starts from young men. You are gallivanting everywhere. Speaking in tongue. When it is time to speak in tongue, you can speak in tongue and enter under the chair, but you have no work. Baba shared a story with us, family, about a woman who lost her job. She came from abroad. She lost a lot of things. And she came to Koza when they are building Koza building in Guzapé. And they came to meet the artisans there that she wants to work. And she joined them to carry one one. And he said he met the woman and saw the way she was speaking English. I said, ah, you are not supposed to be doing this kind of thing. He said, no, 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 no. No, this is a condition. This, if you even see where their house are, he said, we can't provide for the house. But the, right now, the woman had contract with Big Gate. The same woman that dropped a pedigree to carry one one. There is dignity in work. Yes, Stop being lazy. I can't carry one one. Who are you? Work is not suffering. The first thing God created for man is work. I saw something today. The reason rain didn't fall on earth was because there was no man to till the ground. God can't waste resources. I can show you in scripture. It's in Genesis 2. Family, please be seated. Oh, I don't have time. The first thing God gave man is work. Do you know Adam didn't have a wife until Adam had work? The wife was to assist the work. You are toasting a girl, you don't have a work. And the girl will say yes to you. And you are just postponing your day of tears. If the man is not smart, are you not smart? Somebody did not have wife work, did not have vision. I didn't say she have money. I said work. The quality of your work will determine the quality of your life. Can I blow your mind? The things you can't afford are the things that your work cannot provide for you. Work. This thing, Igbos don't face this much as problem. But you reverse. You can see one fine boy who just dress and trim his hair. I scatter it. They don't come it again. We scatter it. Be da -da. They will die it. They will walk. The, the madness of the present age is I'm into crypto. into crypto. You are jobless. The crypto you say you are into, how many hours do you invest into it per day? Can you wait? Do you know the interesting thing? When GSE started, I listened to a message that a pastor will wake up in the morning when God called him into ministry, and he will dress and wear tie, and, st and sit there in the sitting room as his office, and he will be there for eight hours. He will not enter the room. You know what I would do? I would dress. The small hall we got, I will go to that place very early. I will not tie. I will fold my shirt like this. Nobody is coming to see me. I will be there. If I feel sleepy, I will wake up. I will read and read and read and read and read. That was where God met me. Why will you be jobless? That you're a full-time pastor does not mean you're a full-time sleeper. If you do cryptocurrency, really, and for eight hours in a day, like everybody will go to work, you to resume from eight on your computer, checking, 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 checking. You will not be looking for Sogun Dogoji. If you don't understand that, Money doublers. One of my sons said, I love Forex. This I say, you love Forex? Right? Okay, no problem. Talk to this person. Talk to this person. They said this class is so 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 amount. Hey? Hey? Do I have to pay? You will pay. He finished paying. How about the cost? I saw him one day. He didn't come in there. I said, What happened to you? He said, Ah, my head. See, your head must boil. Do we want money, but we don't want to work? Do you know the time you are sleeping is the time somebody is just leaving his place of work? 
Do you know some people 12, they are just coming because they are coming from work. And you expect God. When we are praying in church on Sunday, Father, bless my work. That person is beside you. He's praying the same prayer with you. That's why they have testimony. You don't because God does not bless emptiness. Do you know some people, the work that is theirs, they don't even do it well. What is their own? I asked one of my sons doing dry clean. I said, How come when I when I perceive the clothes to dry clean, I don't it doesn't smell? I said, You don't use starch. He said, No, they buy what they use, there's something they use. I said, Really? Let some people dry clean for you. If rain beats you, you'll be smelling like cassava. What you call your work, you are not even excellent in it. Have you ever seen a tailor looking for a whipping machine before? And he has been sewing for for how long? I don't know. They will see carry clothes. They go and help me whip it in this, this, this place. They have no vision. The work they said they are. Have, have you not seen tailors beside your house? Yes, so, 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 so. Is that the same shop that you know since you were a child? I see a shop till now. The same machine. Butterfly. Singer. Is still the same machine that is there. Because the day you want to sew, it's inside room. You will go and call there. Mommy, talk me. Mommy, talk me. Inside room. They will come out and tie clothes here. Eh? Jack and Measure. They will remain on the same spot. You open shop. The first week you open the shop, 7 a.m. You are there. You first of all pray in tongue. We call everybody from this neighborhood. Next week you, you came in 8 o'clock. By 9 o'clock, you forgot to pray. Now, ah, we came late. Eh, somebody call you. I'm, I'm on the way. I'm on the way. That is how you treat your work. Your own work. Nobody is coming. You thought people come to look at you. Have you ever print and bill of your work and go from street to street? This is what I do. This is what I do. You just put your hand in your pocket and be thinking that is how I work. Okay, you will suffer. Church is doing outreach every Sunday. Your business, you don't even have hand You say you put it on your status. Who sees your status? How many contacts did you have? All your family and friends who sees your status are not your customers. They are a parasite. They want to work without you collect, without you paying them, or without paying you. Your friend, how much is that bag? Say, 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 can I pay at the end of the month? At the end of the month is the end of the year. See, I put it on my status. That, that's where you advertise. No, even small signboard on the junction of your streets. We do cleaning service. We do. Nobody knows what you are doing, and you call that work. You don't have work. Oh. Test this. I told somebody one day. You said you are a teacher. You want you don't want to teach in a school. You want to have a coaching center, and you want or you want to be coaching people in their houses. I said, let me give you a key. It's very simple. I said, go to photocopiers and and write your phone number very big on paper or flex. Just print like twenty and carry it to residential area. Call for private teacher for your children and put little qualification there. BSc mathematics. You will be shocked that phone call. A lot of parents have pupils or have kids who are struggling with mathematics that they want to teach. See, I can teach any child to pass why print 20. You didn't pay me for cheap advert. I told someone, I said, social media content creator, you are good. You don't even know how to create content. I told them in Obada. I said, imagine I want to market this phone. This phone now. I want to market this one. Somebody wants to video me. You just come. I just run out. Hey! Somebody just saw the Instagram post and say, Why are they shouting? Why are they shouting? He said, Ah, ah, 
a new discovery, a new discovery. See this phone. It has three cameras. Have you ever seen phone with three cameras before? This camera can capture your face. This one can capture your leg. This one can capture your heart. I'm just joking. You know? But this phone is this. This phone is that. This phone. The third reason you must buy this phone. Number one. The pictures are clear. Number two. You know the old when you they charge them. Number four. The battery can last for 17 hours. See, before you know it. Call now. See, now only 10 we get to. They don't buy four. It's remaining six. Who they buy the next year? You know, we'll see them again. Before you know it. See. You know they think. You just sit down. Somebody say, face your work. He said, this pastor can preach because it's my work. Before I came to church this morning, I've read. See, my library full of books. It's my work. What is your own work? There are a few books written by Kenneth Taker that I've not read. And I've not read. Of it. It's my work. Imagine a mechanic, no guest spanner, no, no guest screwdriver. Today or this week, if I see you anywhere, just walking like Lucifer. Lucifer, where are you coming from? Turn, turn and flow. Some people know even they do turn and flow. It's in their room. The only time they come out is when they come to church. He said, you know, you know, you know, I, I, I don't go out. I stay at home. You're also jobless. Stay at home doing what? Family, please be seated. I don't have time to talk about the anointing over your work because the work is not enough. But that's where it starts. I wish I have time to show you the blessing that was upon Jacob. You know what his father said to him? He said, the smell of my son He's smelling of the fragrance of the field the Lord has blessed. That means the blessing of Jacob is never in the house. We have to go to the field. Can I mention this in passive? Never in your life be satisfied with small. Small. You are okay. He said, I'm a very contented person. Very contented. People like you will say, ah, there's nothing wrong with public school. You tell your wife, let's take our children to public school. I grew up in public school. For my school don't have a name like Pastor Richard's school. Is that not where God praised us? I hope your children will not grow up and stone you for being an irresponsible father. Amen, somebody. I'm not saying you should bite more than you can chew. A step at a time. Like I started, bit by bit. I'm not telling you to jump up now and say you want to make your first 10 million. Start this week. I should be able to make 1,000 per day. When you make the 1,000, move. I should be able to make 10,000 in a week. When you make that 10,000, I should be able to set a target. Ah, 100,000, don't they come now? Ah, when am I making my first million? You get to one million, one million, multiple, multiple digits a million. Maybe you are making 13, 14. Lord, I want to make like 50, 60. That one comes. Eh? I can make it in hundreds of millions. Eh? One billion can come. Bit by bit. See a man that is faithful in little. Much also will be given to him. But if you are not faithful in little things, there's no way God can give you great things. Walk, do steal. Walk, don't steal. Somebody say that one to not walk. That one is not walk. There is a wisdom of the Lord and there is a wisdom of the world. Walk with the wisdom of the Lord, not the wisdom of the world. Connie craftiness. I thought I would be able to get to the place where I would show you how the Bible says the cause of the Lord is in the house of a thief. Zechariah chapter 5, 1 to 4. He said, if we eat it up until there will be nothing there again. Somebody shout hallelujah. You know you have all the sessions to expose you to work. The reason I spend time to talk about this is because don't just carry it and go back. I want to sell food. Some of you, you have been selling food now for four years. I want to sell food. Four years ago. Two years ago, I want to sell food. Last year, I want to sell food. God called me. If I used to see myself, I used to carry wear apron and have one big long spoon in my hand. 
This is the fifth year. <laughs> you are still it's in the realm of your idea only. Amen. Let me tell you, they must say, do something. Tell someone else, say, do something. Can you or t- tell yourself, say, I will do something for you. So I will no longer be undertaker. So I will, I will read books, seven keys to, I know, the way I'm looking at you, I can teach you how to succeed in business, but they, they know what is wrong with everybody but themselves. Family, it is time to work. Put your head down. Get an idea of what God wants you to do. Run after that which God wants you to do. Pursue the dream. Pursue the vision. And your life will not remain the same. Did I bless you a little this morning? Amen. You know I'm not your regular motivational speaker. Seven keys to prosperity for them is different from second key to prosperity for me. Vision, work is a major requirement to be prosperous. If you can put anointing on all this, oh, you'll be a kingdom. I fly. You are blessed in Jesus' name. Say I'm prosperous. I have reward for my labor. Say it again. Say I'm prosperous. I have reward for my labor. Whatever I lay my hands to do, shall prosper. I see like God want me to see. I have like God want me to have. What nobody has had in my generation. I will have it. In the name of Jesus. Those of you listening from Lagos, I decree and declare. It may be a simple one for you. But I pray, as you take your step to begin to walk, grace will begin to be evident in your walk. Anyone facing challenge in your place of work, I pray for you this morning that the grace that lifts will lift you up in the name of Jesus. You will not be stranded. Somebody desiring a change of job, receive that which you want. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. So shall he be. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Hallelujah.